has it changed your opinion at all, Curtis, on on uh, this past season? It has mine. Yeah, uh, it's it's really sort of uh, solidified how I feel. But the the quote that we played about an hour ago from Karen Grigian yesterday with Mego, saying that she was personally shocked at the number of people that were willing to speak to her regarding the story, really has made me feel even worse considering the depth of the distrust. That's what this is. You speak out when you don't trust those around you because you feel compelled to get your story out. If you were somebody who is leaning toward Mac Jones being a bit, uh, as Boomer described him famously on this program, douchey, (laughs) does this change your opinion of that? It does. I I wasn't leaning in that direction anyway, but uh, <laughs> it does. Uh, it does give me pause and say, what do you expect? Like you're a guy who's dealing with Joe Judge, who apparently, uh, the, if you look at the reports this morning, is staying with the organization. Yeah, that's yeah. what worries me. Where do you think it, they're going? This article. Huh? Where do you, you think they're going? I told you, Matt Patricia go, ain't how, going anywhere. They should go to fast food or whatever, whatever the industry. It's not is. happening. They're like, loyal. What, what, they're loyal soldiers, man. Yeah, this yeah. is my lead. Like last week, they're not going anywhere. And yeah. I also think you got to look at next season in this article. If anything makes you a bit nervous yeah you can you can add bill o'brien you can add you know weapons around mac jones there's a strain in this relationship and it seems to go deeper than just mac uh okay if the strain in the relationship is has been mac jones and joe judge Mm -hmm. and you keep joe judge around how does that change at all that's not the only strain in the relationship though you just said it to trust that's the number one strain yeah but also i mean mac jones is is still upset too as well that belichick won't even come out and say that he's this guy asked after the season will mac be your starting quarterback next year oh you know mac can be a starting quarterback in the nfl zero commitment from the injury to postseason like and it still exists and that's the one thing when you ask that about the confidence or how things have changed after this story Bill Belichick's refusal to stand by Mac when I asked him if he's the quarterback when healthy, all the way to what Shime just alluded to at the end of the season, is really, really bad for him to do that. That He knows they're screaming at each other on the field. He knows that there's this clear disagreement fundamentally between the coaching and the quarterback. The quarterback gets injured, and all anybody wants is you just to say, yeah, he'll come back. Right. And then you see the players' reaction when they were they said they didn't know the plan on Monday night against the Bears. The players are clearly with Mac. That's Bill knew issue. exactly what he was doing. That's and, the issue is that you basically took that in that entire team or a portion of that team, yep, maybe only on that side of the ball or whatever, and you turned them in into a Mac versus coaches scenario and mm-hmm. they're going to choose the player cuz they cuz that they don't if that scenario happens to them mm-hmm. <laughs> they don't get their starting job back being right. hurt of course they're going to side with Mac Jones and and they seem to like the guy and, and like they don't think he's a tennis brat well, and you you say timeline is always big timeline 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 Curtis just brought up the point of the Bill Belichick when he was asked about Mac Jones didn't have that happen right after the season mm-hmm. and then what are we Several weeks weeks yep. later, we have this article that comes out. So where and you don't believe that he has some type of um, influence in that, whether he's a source or not. But Bill's looking at it like this: anybody who was complaining ain't gonna be here. Okay, so Simple why is judge? Why is judge? No, no back? players. Any player that's complaining is not going to be here. I'm loyal Wiggy, to ju- I'm loyal gonna, to Judge and Patricia. How why? are you going to get rid of? There's uh, there's multiple players. Who complained for this piece in the Herald? How are you gonna How are you gonna ferret them out and get rid of them? Because you know who they are. If you think, it, let's say there's, you think it's Mac Jones. No, no, number I said, one source. I said Mac Jones. Deep jo- throat. I said Mac Jones, <laughs> Kendrick Bourne. I bet probably Trent Brown somewhere in there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Jacoby Myers. I wouldn't be surprised if Nelson Aguilar was in there. Hunter Henry. Hunter Henry. Okay, you're stuck with uh, Aguilar. No, he's no, gone. no. Aguilar's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Well, why hasn't? Why haven't they removed the the uh, Rolls Royce from the Echelon parking garage? Because <laughs> oh, maybe he's still... it does. It does have a car cover on it now, though. I noticed. Oh, oh, does it? So you wouldn't. You don't notice it. Well, maybe he likes living in the seaport. You do. Okay. Yeah. So okay. uh, Kendrick Bourne's probably going to be gone. Jacoby Myers is a free agent. We know Trent Brown's going to be gone. 
so all of these guys that might ha- that potentially could be sources. Another one, maybe Damian Harris. He's going to be gone. So Bill's like. Do you think David Andrews, because he is the leader, I think, when it comes to offense. You look mm-hmm. at David Andrews, and he is the guy. Right. I thought it was interesting when I was thinking about it last night. It did go back to the preseason where he seemed to have like flipped out during a game or mm-hmm. during a practice, and media members were writing it up, and it's like, oh, that's kind of out of David Andrews' character. At the end of the article yesterday, it goes back to that practice and mm-hmm. why he was so frustrated, and it was more of like a rallying, like who cares what, what they're doing? We're going to get together and we're going to figure this out. Mm-hmm. David Andrews, to me, seems like he could See, be See, I don't think David Andrews is. I think David Andrews is because he's a loyal Belichick soldier, and Bill loves him, and he sat, and he had that uh, that situation with the blood clotting right. and sat out, and, and they took care of him. But didn't I, you think that was an interesting— No, I think it's the people he hangs around. But here's the issue, Wiggy. Mm-hmm. We believe, and I won't speak for you, but I we believe that Joe Judge and Matt Patricia did a bad job this past season, correct? Yes, correct. Bill Belichick, in the middle of the season, seeing the disconnect between the quarterback and his coaches, elected to publicly not back his quarterback, mm-hmm. tacitly supporting two people he knew were not doing their job yep. because he was covering his own ass because he hired them. Yep. And we believe that Bill looks good in this and that Bill should just continue down this path. No, no, I don't believe I don't If think... you don't feel sympathy for Mac Jones, I know it's hard. He's kind of a dink. I don't but he endured more than we even imagined. Right. This I don't season. I don't look at Bill do what he's doing is the right thing to do. But I know Bill. Bill is loyal to the people that are loyal to him, and that's Matt Patricia and Joe Judge. Those are the people. Like, if you know people, right? It sounds like Donald Trump. But that, but that's the way it is, right? It, you, there are people that you know, and you go, "Hey, I know this guy's wrong, but I know how loyal he is to me. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ride with him, mm-hmm. no matter what. Even though I'm know- saying it's like me and Spaz. Yeah. <laughs> you. I mean, if 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 you- Greg, where is you- Spaz? It's been pretty quiet <laughs> oh, on that God. front. Uh, Greg, by the way, could you imagine if I don't want Joe Judge to lose his job? But let's say he does, and he's working at Davio's. He would never tolerate an off-menu order. He would just death stare your ass right back home. What's the most important thing for Bill Belichick? Loyalty from his players and his coaches. I thought it was winning, no? no I, I mean, we know that, but I'm just saying from what he wants from players, right? Loyalty is what he wants. That's why there's always a handful of guys that no matter what, he's always going to ride for. Mm-hmm. And it's the same way with the coaches. And we already know that Matt Patricia and it seems like Joe Judge are loyal to him. They are his foot soldiers. Bill, you need – we know where the bodies are buried, and we're not going to say nothing about it. And, and I think, Courtney, the quote that you're right about David Andrews being a source mm-hmm. is, I love Bill, but he effed us. Mm. Yeah. yeah. A guy that loves him, a guy that's been close with him, but that quote screamed David Andrews to me. Yeah. Yeah, that could. Great I could see that. That that's a good Thank point. You. I could see that, Curtis. Maybe. But but again, Curtis, back to Mac Jones. Like I I you know, jury's out on what he's going to be. But last year, in my mind, is a, a zero sum season. Like I, like they there. He's sitting there, and the rest of them are sitting there saying, "Could we please, at some point during training camp?" install some plays like could we understand at some point Mm -hmm. what this offense is going to be yeah and like how is it fair to judge mac jones based on that complete utter dysfunction in the junction because greg you're missing the point of loyalty right if you if do you think bill knows he made a mistake yes okay so he wants his quarterback to go i know that you made a mistake coach but I'm not going to say anything that undermines the organization. Yeah. I'm going to be a loyal, good soldier. I'm going to keep my mouth shut, even though I don't agree with it. And then once the season's over and you fix it. Okay, is he going to say the same thing to David Andrews? I think he's more likely. Because <laughs> the way David Andrews, if that is him, the way he couched that quote is, I love right. Bill Belichick. Right? But he effed us. Yeah, right. So it's almost Bill can kind of get look at it and go. When somebody tells you how much you they love you, and they 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 then say, <laughs> "Well, he made a big mistake." You can kind of go, "All right, I I, I see what you're saying." Okay. But the other so I'm telling you, Greg, you're. I would not be surprised if both of them are on the offensive side of the ball in some way, 
Well, Joe Judge is going to be special teams. Right? Well, I, I mean, I don't know. But I, I'm just saying that my I think that Matt Patricia and Joe Judge are going to be here longer than Mac Jones. I mean, I think you're you're going to remove Joe Judge from the possibility of ever really interacting with Mac Jones. So that would be the first thing that I would do is uh, get him as far away from the offensive side of the football as you can so the two aren't uh, – expletiving each other all the time. Greg, what uh, I would do is what, what Pam did to Creed in the office. She gave him two photos, said there were ten differences between them, <laughs> even though they were identical, and put him in a blocked office. But the only problem always, was that. Always an office obscure reference, right. Curtis. Always Sorry, just, I know it's off the menu. Just, just like there's always a Simpsons obscure reference, there's always an office obscure reference.